Intro Belize more than just a pretty face. So you think you know paradise, huh? White sand beaches, turquoise water, you've seen the postcards. But Belize, this little slice of Central America is more than just a pretty face. It's a country with a soul, a pulse that runs deep in its Maya roots, its Caribbean rhythms, and yeah, okay, it's damn good beaches too. But I'm not here for the tourist traps. I want the real deal, the grit under the glitter. We're going to dive into the heart of Belize, past the resorts and souvenir shops. We'll explore ancient ruins swallowed by jungle, swim with sharks in underwater caves, and taste the fire of Belizean cuisine. This ain't your all-inclusive vacation, kids. This is about getting your hands dirty, your feet wet, and your soul stirred. So buckle up, grab a Belican beer, and get ready for a journey that'll leave you breathless. This is Belize Uncovered. The Great Blue Hole, even the name sends shivers down your spine. A giant sapphire eye staring up from the ocean, it's a siren song for divers, an irresistible abyss. Jacques Cousteau himself declared it one of the top 10 dive sites in the world, and who am I to argue with the man? Descending into the blue hole is like entering another dimension. The water, so clear it feels like flying, turns a deeper shade of blue with each passing foot. Stalactites, formed over millennia, hang like teeth from the cavern roof, remnants of a time when this was dry land. Down here, silence reigns. The only sound is your own breathing, a rhythmic reminder of your own mortality. It's a humbling experience, facing the raw power and ancient history of this place. You emerge from the depths, blinking against the sunlight, changed. You've seen the heart of the ocean, felt the weight of time, and you'll never be the same. Deep in the jungle, shrouded in mist and mystery, lie the ruins of Zunantunic. This ancient Maya city, its name meaning Stone Woman, whispers tales of a civilization lost. Climbing the steep steps of El Castillo, the tallest structure here, you can almost hear the echoes of priests chanting, feel the pulse of a vibrant city teeming with life. From this vantage point, the jungle canopy stretches out before you, an emerald sea dotted with the remnants of temples, palaces, and ball courts. The Maya believed this place was sacred, a gateway to the underworld, and standing here surrounded by these weathered stones, you can feel a power, a connection to something ancient and unknowable. Zunantunic is a reminder that empires rise and fall, that time marches on, leaving only whispers in the wind. But it's also a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity, the drive to create, to build, to leave our mark on the world. If the Blue Hole is a descent into the abyss, then Hole Chan Marine Reserve is a kaleidoscopic explosion of life. This underwater wonderland, teeming with coral reefs, vibrant fish, and even the occasional shark, is a feast for the senses. Snorkeling here is like swimming through a living rainbow, a technicolor dream you never want to wake up from. Schools of blue tangs dart through the coral, their scales shimmering like jewels. A stingray glides effortlessly across the sandy bottom, its eyes watchful. And then, a flash of silver, a reef shark, sleek and powerful, patrols its territory. It's a primal encounter, a reminder that we're just visitors in this underwater world. But fear gives way to wonder as you witness the delicate dance of life in this fragile ecosystem. Volchan is a reminder that beauty can be found in the most unexpected places, and that the ocean, for all its vastness, is a delicate balance we must strive to protect. The Maya believed caves were portals to Sibalba, the underworld, and floating down the cave's branch river, nestled inside a limestone cavern, you can understand why. Sunlight fades, replaced by the eerie glow of headlamps. The air grows heavy, thick with the scent of damp earth and something ancient, something unknowable. You're drifting through the veins of the earth, the water carrying you deeper into the darkness. Bats flit overhead, their shadows dancing on the cave walls. Stalactites drip like melting wax, forming strange and beautiful sculptures over eons. It's a journey into the heart of the earth, a primal experience that strips away the veneer of civilization. Emerging from the cave, blinking against the sunlight, you feel like you've been reborn. You've glimpsed the underworld, felt the pulse of the earth, and returned with a newfound appreciation for the world above. The Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary. This is Jaguar country a place where the jungle reigns supreme, where the air is thick with the scent of damp earth and the rustle of unseen creatures. Hiking these trails, 
You're not just a visitor, you're an intruder in a world that doesn't belong to you. Keep your eyes peeled, your senses sharp. The jungle whispers secrets, and if you're lucky, you might glimpse the ghost of the forest, the jaguar. Elusive, powerful, a symbol of the wild heart of Belize. But even if the jaguar remains hidden, its presence is felt everywhere. In the tracks on the muddy path, the rustle of leaves, the primal fear that prickles your skin. This is a place where you remember your place in the food chain, where the line between observer and observed blurs. It's a humbling experience, a reminder of the raw beauty and untamed power of the natural world. Okay, I admit it, even a cynical bastard like me can appreciate a good beach. An ambergris cay, with its white sand beaches, swaying palm trees and turquoise waters, is about as good as it gets. This is the Belize of postcards, the tropical paradise that draws travelers from around the globe. But there's more to Ambergris K than just pretty scenery. The laid-back island vibe is infectious. The people are warm and welcoming, and the seafood is fresh off the boat. Sip a rum punch at a beachside bar, dive into the crystal clear waters, or just soak up the sun. It's impossible not to feel your worries melt away. Ambergris K is a reminder that sometimes you just need to slow down, breathe, and let the beauty of the world wash over you. It's a place to reconnect with yourself, to find peace in the rhythm of the waves, and to remind yourself that paradise, in its own way, is real. Forget the fancy resorts and five-star restaurants. The real soul of Belize lies in its street food, the flavors that have been simmering for generations. This is food that nourishes, food that tells a story, food that will make you lick your fingers and beg for more. Rice and beans, the national dish, is a deceptively simple symphony of flavors, with coconut milk and spices adding depth to humble ingredients. Stew chicken, slow cooked to tender perfection, falls off the bone, its rich gravy a testament to the patience of Belizean cooks. And the seafood, oh man, the seafood. Fresh caught snapper, grilled to perfection, its delicate flesh flaky and flavorful, is a taste of the Caribbean Sea itself. This is food that speaks of history, of resilience, of the fusion of cultures that make Belize so unique. It's a reminder that the best meals are often the simplest, the ones that connect you to the land, the people, and the traditions that make a place sing. The Belize Zoo isn't your typical zoo. It's not about cages and concrete, but about rehabilitation, education, and respect for the animal kingdom. This is a place where animals rescued from injury or illegal captivity get a second chance, where visitors learn about the delicate balance of the Belizean ecosystem. You won't find lions or elephants here. Instead, you'll encounter the creatures that call Belize home, the playful spider monkeys, the vibrant toucans, the stealthy jaguars pacing their enclosures. These animals, ambassadors for their species, serve as a reminder of the biodiversity that makes Belize so special and the importance of conservation efforts to protect it. The Belize Zoo is a place where you can reconnect with your own sense of wonder, where you can learn about the interconnectedness of all living things, and where you can leave inspired to protect the fragile beauty of the natural world. The Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve is a world away from the beaches and coral reefs. Here, the air is cool and crisp, scented with pine needles and damp earth. Granite cliffs rise from the forest floor, waterfalls cascade into hidden pools, and the silence is broken only by the call of birds and the whisper of the wind. This is a place for adventure, for hiking through dense forests, for swimming in hidden waterfalls, for exploring caves that echo with the secrets of the earth. It's a place to challenge yourself, to push your limits, to reconnect with the primal instincts that city life has dulled. The Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve is a reminder that nature can be both beautiful and unforgiving, that true peace can be found in solitude, and that the greatest adventures are often the ones that take you off the beaten path. Kay Calker is the antidote to the modern world, a place where time slows to a crawl, where shoes are optional, and where the motto is, go slow. This tiny island, a short boat ride from Belize City, is a haven for backpackers, artists, and anyone seeking a break from the rat race. The streets are sandy, the buildings are colorful, and the air is thick with the scent of grilling lobster and reggae music. Rent a bike, grab a hammock, or just wander aimlessly, soaking up the laid-back vibes. Kay Calker is a place to disconnect, to reconnect with yourself, 
to remember what truly matters. It's a reminder that life doesn't have to be a race, that happiness can be found in simplicity, and that sometimes the best thing you can do is just let go and go with the flow. So, you've seen the postcard perfect beaches, explored ancient ruins, and tasted the fiery soul of Belizean cuisine. But Belize is more than just a collection of experiences. It's a state of mind, a way of life that stays with you long after you've left. It's the warmth of the people, the rhythm of the drums, the taste of the sea salt on your lips. It's the feeling of sand between your toes, the sun on your face, the jungle whispering secrets in your ear. It's the realization that paradise isn't a place, it's a feeling. Belize gets under your skin, it stays with you, a reminder that the world is full of wonder, that beauty can be found in the most unexpected places, and that the greatest journey is the one that takes you to yourself. To book all your travel, please click the link to my website located in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more travel adventures. Thanks for watching.